Good evening, class. Hello, Filomena. Welcome. Guillermo Antonio. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you for being here on time. And tell me, uh, is it raining in your neighborhood? Está lloviendo en su colonia? Yes. No. Super fuerte acá. Oh, really? In my house, it is just in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood, it is only drizzling. You know, drizzling, lluviznando, okay? But in Guillermo's house, it is not uh, raining, okay? Great. So class, in one minute, we are going to get started, okay? Clelia is joining right now. Thank you, Ana Veronica also. Very well, you are welcome, girls. You are really welcome. Thank you for being here. Today is our class number 17, okay? Remember that. So I need you to be here tomorrow, Friday, and Monday. Solamente nos quedan tres clases ya. Así es que necesito que estén acá mañana, el viernes y el lunes. Principalmente el lunes porque vamos a llenar la encuesta de satisfacción, como les he dicho. ¿Ok? Es obligatorio que se llene en clase. A las filo de las ocho en pronto vamos a estar haciendo. Mm -hmm. Hello, Clelia. Ana Verónica. Okay. So, in a couple of seconds, we're going to get started. En unos segundos vamos a iniciar. Grupo, and remember that you're going to need the map that you were working with yesterday. Okay. Recuerden que el mapa con el que trabajamos ayer lo vamos a utilizar hoy. Okay, in order to show his hello, Jose Pacheco, welcome. You are really welcome. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. We were missing you yesterday. Ayer lo extrañamos mucho, 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 okay? <laughs> oh, yes, we were missing you. Where is Jose Pacheco? Where is Jose Pacheco? And you were absent, but today you are here. So that's great. Yes. Okay, Bye. excellent. Thank you for joining. Ivania, welcome. Ivania is joining right now. Great, excellent. Thanks. Okay, class, it is exactly the time to get started. And here we go. Okay. Acabamos porque ya ven que el tiempo turns very short. Se convierte en muy cortito el tiempo cuando están practicando en los breakout rooms, ¿verdad? Especialmente when you are describing your, the location of your workplaces. So here we go. I'm going, hello, William Francisco, welcome. I'm going to start presenting my PPT, okay? And here we go. But first of all, I'm gonna give you here the power. Jonathan, welcome. Hello. Hello, everyone. And here, I'm going to share my PPT with you guys, okay? So today is September 13th, 2022. I am so glad that all of you are here in our session number 17. Nuestra clase número 17. You are like this to finish level number one. Están pero así de terminar el nivel número uno. Okay, so congratulations. You're really champions because you're very responsible. And... When you are connected, it means that you are concerned about your learning. Remember, it is a step by step. Recuerden que es paso a paso, ¿verdad? Que vamos en el aprendizaje, no es de una vez. So here, I'm going to share my agenda with you guys for today, our video conference number 17. Greetings, activity number one. Feedback, activity number two. We're going to read the objectives. Uh, working with propositions of place, and we're going to have the new topic, there is and there are. We're going to be practicing the topic. We're going to be practicing, I expect, at pages 40, 41, and 42. And at the end, the wrapping up of the class. So as every day, I need one of you to help me reading the objectives for today's session, for today's video conference number 17. Who wants to help me reading the objectives, the specific objective and the class objective? ¿Quién me va a ayudar a leer los objetivos de esta sesión? Only one. 
don't fight, please. No pelear, por favor, para participar en la lectura. Right. De los objetivos. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Begin, please. Uh, Jonathan? Okay. Me? okay, please. A specific objective. Participants will be able to describe the location of my another's workplace. A class objective. Participants will be able to use there is and there are. Plus. Plus. Quantify, quantifiers. 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 Okay. Yes. Quantifiers. Quantificadores. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Those are quantifiers because you mentioned the quantity. If I say, for example, look at me. Maybe you can see this. I have two markers. Yes. There are two markers in my hands. I those marcadores en mis manos, okay? There is one green marker in my left hand. There is one pink marker in my right hand. Estos son cuantificadores porque les estoy diciendo la cantidad, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, so that is what we're going to be practicing today. But here I have a reminder about homeworks and evaluations. Remember that in this week, you will have to take a final test, okay? Van a tomar un examencito final y las homeworks for every single day y las tareas para cada día. And you're going to have uh, time because remember the day after tomorrow, pasado mañana, which is uh, Thursday, right? Uh, Tomorrow is Thursday, right? Yes. Oh my gosh. Time is running for today. Let me check. No, today, tomorrow is 14th. So I am correct. The day after tomorrow, pasado mañana, is the Independence Day. So no classes. So you will have that time to complete your homeworks and evaluations in the platform, right? And on Friday, we have a class, remember that. So here we have, as a feedback, let's recall what we practiced yesterday. Recordemos lo que practicamos ayer. Prepositions of place in, on, and at. Is that okay? You were practicing speaking. You were practicing writing. You were practicing vocabulary. You were drawing. What did you draw? ¿Qué dibujaron ayer? Somebody tell me, what did you draw yesterday? ¿Qué dibujaron ayer en clase? I asked you to draw something. Les pedí que dibujaran algo y hoy lo vamos a utilizar nuevamente, lo que dibujaron ayer. What was that? <clears throat> You were showing in the breakout rooms to your partners. El mapa de nuestra dirección de trabajo. Excellent. Thank you. The map of the location of your workplace. And we were working with locations. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So here, guys, we have as a reminder this information. Let's remember at in, on, these are the very basic prepositions of place, yes? At, for a specific point, in, for enclosed space, and on, for a surface, okay? You may say, on the ceiling, en el techo, on the wall, en la pared, pero es sobre la superficie de la pared, on the cover, on the door, on the carpet, on the menu, on a page, on the floor, right? And you have this information in your WhatsApp group. And here you were practicing also, if you remember the speaking with these questions and you were providing your real information, right? Ustedes estaban presentando su información real. But now here we go, more prepositions of place. Behind, next to, 
in on at the center of what we did yesterday between and among. If you remember class, I explained to you yesterday about between and among. Does anybody remember the difference between eh, these two words, between and among? Alguien recuerda la diferencia entre estas dos palabras, between, among. Between es entre dos y among es entre, entre varios. Okay, three and more, excellent. But the meaning is the same, entry, yeah? I can tell you, for example, look at this. I have it here, yeah? My red pen is between two markers, yes? My red, this is the red, a okay? red pen, is between two markers or my red pen is between the green and pink marker, yeah? Between, but if I say, look at this, okay, I have a blue, a blue pen. So now I say like this, oopsie, like this, okay? My red pen is among two markers and one blue pen. Acá porque ya hay tres, entonces ya no digo between, utilizo among. Is that okay? Yeah. And then we have in front of, opposite of, next to, behind, behind, detrás. Okay, I'm going to share this information with you so you can have it. And here we go, okay. Hello to the ones who joined recently. Okay, there you are, guys. And now let's continue. Okay, so here behind the wall is behind my back. La pared está detrás de mi espalda, a mi espalda, okay? Next to, there is no problem, in front of and opposite of. Kind of synonyms in front of and opposite of, okay? Questions, comments about this information? No? Okay. So here we go. We have these prepositions, but this is a soft, very brief introduction about the new topic for today. There is and there are. In Spanish, there is no problem because it is the same expression. In English also is the same expression, but the quantifiers is the difference. Notice that in both expressions, fíjense que en las dos expresiones tenemos there. There is, there are. The meaning is I. There is for singular, there are for plural. If we say, there is a cat on the ceiling. Hay un gato en el techo, yes? There is an orange on the refrigerator or on the basket in la cesta, yeah? There is an avocado. There is a table. There is a person. There is a tall building next to my... Uh, next to my workplace. There are, for plural, three children. Remember, child is only one, one child. It can be a boy or a girl. Child, niño o niña, solamente uno. Children, plural, niños, okay? So don't get confused. And then we have some oranges. There are some oranges. There are five tomatoes. There are, there are three bags of vegetables. There are two bottles of milk. There are two tall buildings, okay? ¿Cuáles son los quantifiers acá? Alguien me dice. Three children. ¿Cuál es el quantifier, el quantificador ahí? En esa expresión, three children. Hello, somebody.
el cuantificador en la expresión three children es tres porque es la cantidad. Quantifier significa cantidad. Son los cuantificadores, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, por eso usamos plural. Recuerden, there is for singular, para singular. There are para plural. There is a cat, there is a child, there is a table. A or a cat significa hay un gato. There is an orange, hay una naranja. Pero si decimos there are, son oranges, hay algunas naranjas, no las hemos contado, pero son varias, ¿de acuerdo? There are five tomatoes, hay cinco tomates. Y para, para decir hay un tomate, how do you say that? Hello. Sí, ah, tenemos ah, tomato. There is a tomato. There is a tomato. Okay. I'm going to share this with you. Why am I explaining this before we go to the feedback? Uh, because you're going to use these expressions when you describe the facilities that are near your workplace. Because remember yesterday, you began with the activity, but now you can say there is a gas station in front of my workplace. Yes, hay una gasolinera enfrente de mi lugar de trabajo, ¿sí? Okay, so now that you have that information here, okay, we have there is, there are, there is singular, there are plural, there is para singular quiere decir solo uno o una, entonces se recuerdan de este artículo indefinido, un o una, there is a cat, podemos decir hay un gato, una gata, ya. Yeah. An orange, una naranja. An avocado, un aguacate. ¿Y por qué comienza acá? An orange, an avocado, y no decimos a orange or a avocado. ¿Por qué será que le agregamos la N a este artículo? ¿Se recuerda que ya lo vimos? Porque no inicia con vocal. La siguiente palabra después de este artículo indefinido, e o a, que significa un uno, una, inicia con vocal y sonido de vocal. Muy bien. Ok. So, questions so far about this? Preguntas sobre esto? Esta fue la introducción, introduction to the topic. Ok. So now, what are you going to do right now? Yeah. Okay, class. If you remember, class, yesterday you were working with the prepositions, the simple prepositions of place, on, in, and at. And you for the avenues, for the corner or the street, you say on. To mention the city or the country, in El Salvador is the country, es el país, in El Salvador. In San Salvador is the city, in Sonsonate, in San Miguel, because San Miguel, San Miguel, San Salvador, San Salvador, Santa Ana, Santa Ana, yes, the department and the, the city. In the park, in the neighborhood, at the meeting room, at work at the bank. But we worked with this yesterday too. And you drew, ustedes dibujaron el mapa of the location of your workplace. Is that okay? Yeah, now you have that information. So guys, what are you going to do right now? You are going to create your own map with your workplace on it and the places or buildings and others that surround it. Para quien estuvo ausente ayer, tiene que crear un mapa con su lugar de trabajo en ese mapa. Y los lugares, edificios y otras, ok, ah, puede ser amenities, sí, o referentes que están alrededor de su lugar de trabajo. 
Ayer lo explicaron. ¿Qué van a hacer ahora? You're going to create a role play in pairs, explaining where your work location street, city, etc. is presented to the class. Ok, lo van a presentar a sus compañeros. Van a crear una conversación, ok, explicando dónde está ubicado su lugar de trabajo, la calle, la ciudad, etc. What do you think could be good questions in order to start the conversation? ¿Cuáles creen ser, que serían buenas preguntas para iniciar la conversación? Ok. We have A and B. Because it is two people, yeah? So we say, probably, you say, good evening, yeah? That is okay. Good evening. And then the question, to ask information question, to ask for a place, which is the word? ¿Se recuerdan la palabra? Where? Uy. Where do you work? Excellent. Where do you work? Okay. Where do you work? Begins A. And then B. ¿Qué contestaría B? Good evening. Yeah. And I work in, and you mentioned the name of the company. Is that okay? Y ayer, ¿cuál era la pregunta que hacíamos? Después de, where do you work? Where? Where is it? Where is it? Donde está? Donde queda? <clears throat> For the location. And then B answers. It's or it is. Y ahí mencionan ustedes la address, la dirección, ¿sí? <clears throat> it is on. Porque utilizamos on para las calles, avenidas y alamedas que tenemos acá, ok, o rows, ya, yeah. and then maybe letter A answers, I don't, I don't know, maybe, I don't know the place, ok, esto fácil para que no se les complique, I don't know the place, no conozco el lugar, la verdad es que lo que no sabemos es la nomenclatura, sí, And then letter B, there is A, y ahí le menciona usted lo que hay. For example, there is, um, somebody said a uh, pizza hat or something like that yesterday. I remember there is a, and you mentioned the place, in front of, okay, across from, Opposite of, or next to, or behind, yes. Y ahí van a utilizar las preposiciones que les he compartido esta noche. Like, uh, next to, behind, <clears throat> between, yeah. Next to, um, in front of, opposite of, yeah. And then, letter A. Okay. Great. Thanks for the information. Así de cortito y luego intercambian roles. Estamos de acuerdo, sí, comprendimos. Simple la conversación solo es a utilizar lo que ayer estuvimos trabajando, pero acá ya vamos a utilizar there is, ¿ok? There is or there are, there is a park in front of, okay, or opposite of my workplace, or there is a park next to, ya, yeah? a dar referencias para que nos ubiquemos mejor, de acuerdo, okay, questions, si fuera plural, there are uh, some trees, hay algunos árboles, ya, yeah? 
pines, or ahí menciona mango trees, árboles de mango, yes? And then you use there is or there are. Okay, are you going to take a screenshot? Who's going to take a screenshot? Yes. Okay, thank you. Everybody take a screenshot, please. And then we're going to move to the breakout rooms so you can practice, okay? Using the information in the map that you were working with yesterday, utilizando la información con la que trabajaron ayer, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, so I'm going to stop here. And I need you to activate the cameras because I'm going to take your first attendance today. Okay, ready? Activate cameras. Ana Marlene. Marlene, are you yes. here? Present. Yes. Okay, Present. thank you, Marlene. Ana Veronica. Thank you so much, Miss Veronica. Barbara, where are you? Are you here? Yes, I am. Okay, here. Thank you, Miss. Ah, uh, yesterday we were missing you. Carlos Miguel. Present. Is it cold, Carlos Miguel? Or are you sick? Está lloviendo. Este es ah, raining cats and dogs. Yeah, I can imagine. And where do you live, Carlos? Eh, vivo en San, San Miguel. Buenaventura. San Buenaventura. No, eh, yo soy de San Miguel. Sur. Ajá. No, okay. soy de San Miguel, pero vivo en, en la I, zona montañosa de Usulután. Ok, so I am from San Miguel, but I live in San Buenaventura, yes? Ok, yes. very well, thank you. I enjoy the weather for us. Disfrute el clima por nosotros. Miss Clelia. Present. Remember to activate the cameras. Danny, are you here, Danny? Present, present. Oh, yes, yes. Here you are, Daniel. David Emanuel, are you here? <gasps> David Emanuel. It's rare. Iba a estar de oyente, dijo, teacher. Oh, yeah, but, but I don't see his name over here. Oh, yes, yes, I see. Okay. Filomena, Luz. Present. Okay. Francisco Enrique Saldaña. Francisco. Is Guillermo. Present. Oh, thank you. Ivania Elizabeth. Yes, she's here. Great. Jonathan, are you here? Yes, yes just in yeah. time. Back. You say I'm back. Jose Armando Pacheco, Mr. Pacheco, hello. I saw yeah. you here. Okay, thank you. Jose Manuel Mejia. Mm, not yet. Jose Manuel Mejia, not yet. Karina Vanessa. Vane. Karina Vanessa. Absent. Mabelin, Milagro Mabelin. Present. Thank you for activating the camera. We appreciate that. Noé. Present, ah, teacher. Noé, you're here. Thank you. Serafín. Here I am. Okay, I am. Great. great. And William, William Francisco, always here. So it is missing. Thank you. Uh, Francisco, thank you, William Francisco. Francisco Enrique is missing. And Jose Manuel Mejia, not yet. And Karina Vanessa. Yes, that's okay. Okay, class, now we move. Remember, you're going to practice the conversation that I told you. Recuerden, vamos a practicar la conversación describiendo esta pequeña conversación así de simple, ¿verdad? Ay, pero no se ha borrado. Okay, así de simple como está acá. Good evening, good evening. Uh, good evening, where do you work? Good evening, I work in, and you mentioned the place where you work in. Where is it? ¿Dónde está ubicado eso? ¿Dónde queda? It's on, okay, y ahí menciona las calles, avenidas, whatever. I don't know the place, no conozco el lugar. There is, y le da la referencia, there is a or there are. 
some, there are two, there are three, okay? Okay, great, thanks for the information. There are some vendors outside. Hay algunos vendedores afuera, okay? Just to tell you an example. And right now, let's move to the breakout rooms, okay? Here we go, let me see. Hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect number. Because I have uh, four people in each group. <clears throat> Let me see. But Jonathan, I don't see your name over here. Okay. Oh, yes. And Serafin, where are you? And Serafin. Otherwise, I'm going to have to have you. Okay. But I have four people. Right now, I'm going to send you the invitation. Okay, here we go. Go to your groups, please and begin building the conversation. Comiencen a construir la conversación. Ya les envié la invitación, okay? Go to your groups. Um, David Emanuel, I need you in group number three. Ah, Serafín, it's okay. So, David Emanuel, se une por favor al equipo 3, David Emanuel. Bye. Hello, here you are. Guillermo Antonio, Barbara, William Francisco, and Filomena Luz. Okay, remember, it is in pairs, so you, you share, okay? You switch. Roles. Recuerden que también tienen que intercambiar roles, ¿verdad? Y acá decide que a la pareja tiene que trabajar con quién. Ya pasó con quién. ¿Tienen, ¿Tienen alguna duda, comentario? ¿No? Sobre la actividad. No. Ok. Ay, ah, no. working. Ok. Uh, it's on. It's on eh, Las Flores Street. Eh, I'm on. Eh, Magnolias Avenue, San Miguel. I don't know the place. Uh, the, uh, mm -hmm. There is a uh, San Miguel department. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. No, there is. Uh, it is, it is. In este caso, no, there is. It is in San Miguel department. Uh, okay, está en el departamento de San Miguel. Okay, continue, Carlos. Uh, okay, uh, this is oh, uh -huh. at the San Miguel department. Okay, great. Thank you for the information. Y, y le dio, le dio la, la dirección completa. Sí, mm -hmm. sí, este, it's on eh, yep. La Flores yep. Street and on eh, Las Magnolias eh, Avenue. Okay, and she, and she said, she said, I don't know the place, entonces tiene que darle un lugar de referencia. Ah, pero, pero es un building o algún negocio que haya cerca para que ella se ubique, porque en el departamento de San Miguel. Um, use your GPS, you're going to see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aquí está mi mapa. <laughs> este, vamos a ver cuál era el, 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 el que dio de referencia. There is or there are, no usted, porque es su lugar de trabajo. Pero dio algo ahí que está ahí. Ah, bueno, there is a. Um, ¿Cómo se dice cerca? Uh, next to. Uh, there is a uh, next Or, to. Didea. No, no. There is a Didea next ah. to. Y le menciona there, su compañía. ¿Cuál ah, es su compañía? Su compañía. There, cuál is? Is a, there is a Didea next to. Univers University oh. Gerardo Barrios. Okay, to Gerardo Barrios University. There is a Didea next to Gerardo Barrios University. 
Okay, vaya ya ve. Okay. Remember okay. to switch roles, okay? Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh. Okay, Clelia. Bye, Sam. Good, good evening. Okay. Where are, where do you work? Good evening. Um I work in entre ¿Cómo? Entre dice, entre no sé, quizás entre alguna calle entre alguna avenida me imagino porque entre dice entre entre así me lo traduce qué cosa Hermano. quiere decir niño <ríe> o es between, between, between es entre between. pero entre, entre dos entre dos calles o avenidas o entre dos cosas dos personas animales sí. ah ok uh -huh. cómo es between 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 ajá uh -huh. Bueno, hoy sí creo que ya estamos listos. Okay. Vaya, comiencen, pues quiero escucharlos. Le pregunto yo primero. Ajá. Bueno, eh, ok, pero no te, voy, voy a tener las respuestas, Daniel. ¿Cómo? Voy a tener las respuestas. Pues sí. Y no, sí, ayer no trabajó, pues. En ayer trabajaron. El... Sí, sí, Ajá, trabajo. correcto, así es. Y los puntos de referencia que están en el mapa, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah. Ok. Si gusta, Noé le pregunta a Dani. Bueno, está bien. Ok. okay. Usted bueno, dice Dani. y luego intercambian. Bueno. Is in front of Fiscalía General de la República. Óigame, there is no, como le está diciendo un lugar, entonces usted le dice, it is in front of, está enfrente de, ¿sí? Eso mismo dije. Ah, yo le escuché, there no. is, there is, en ese caso no, no, porque se le está dando un lugar, entonces, it is in front of, está frente a, ¿verdad? Ok, perfecto. Continue, please. Ah, pues de nuevo será cinco, Marle. Ok. Ok. Good evening. Good evening. Where do you work? Good evening, Serafín. I work in Grupo Lorena. Where is? It's on... Ciudad Jardín Neighborhood. I don't know the place. There is a uh, next, ahí no sé si sería a uh, teacher porque es there is next to. No, ahí es donde les digo. No se puede decir there is next to. Porque eh, diga la frase y luego le ayudo. Uh, there is a uh, next, next to la jungla migueleña. No, ¿y qué es la jungla migueleña? Es un lugar como es en eventos punto de, referencia. De, de fiestas, cosas ah, así. Es el único eh. punto de referencia que con la que la gente puede llegar sí, ahí, el, el más sí, conocido. Pero, pero, sí, pero, pero para, para, para ser específico, porque no es restaurante. Sí, no. sí. O sea, no, 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 pero generalmente es un lugar donde hacen fiestas, cosas así. 15 años la gente alquila ese lugar para eventos. Vaya. Ok. Uh, pero si usted quién sabe Miguel dice la jungla migueleña toda la gente sabe de dónde es sí pero, pero, como, pero como él y yo no sabemos entonces <risa> there is a there is a place there is a place there is a place ok or there is a party place there, there is, a party. is a party place la jungla next to Así sería la frase. There sí. is a party place. La jungla, la jungla next, next, next to. to. Y menciona el lugar suyo de trabajo. La, next to uh, Grupo Lorena. Grupo Lorena. Next ah. to Grupo Lorena. Ajá. There is a party place. La jungla. Next to Grupo Lorena. 
Ah, porque okay. recuerden que para las direcciones así tenemos que ser bien específicos, ¿verdad? Porque eh, los salvadoreños no nos conocemos la nomenclatura, ese es nuestro problema. Uh -huh. Y a veces ni con el GPS porque, y con el Google Maps peor, ¿verdad? <coughs> porque le dice turn to the left y, y pues sí, ahí está al cruzar a la izquierda, pero del otro lado. Y ahí hay una pendiente y nos vamos a ir. Ajá, that is why, ¿ok? Continue, okay, continue. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you, teacher. Ok, Serafín. Good evening. Where do you work? Good evening. I work in Caja de Crédito en Sintepeque. Where is it? In it's on uh, Doctor Jesus Doctor Jesus Velasco Street, number number seven, Sintepeque City. I don't know the place. That is um, uh, from the Teatro Cabañas. It is in front of Teatro Cabañas. Perdón. It is in front of Teatro Cabañas. It is. Ajá, uh -huh. ahí no, there is. Ahí no dice hay, porque no va a decir hay un enfrente Teatro Cabañas, no. <laughs> it is, es... está frente a, it is in front of Teatro Cabañas. It, it, it is, uh -huh, it is in front of Teatro Cabañas. It is, it is in front of Teatro Cabañas. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the information, okay. Okay. Very well. Okay, ahora. And now. Bien, este. La sí, otra dupla. Ahí otra vez. Sí. Good evening. Where do you work, Millie? Good evening, Veronica. Um, I work at Alden Firm. Where is it? It is on Madre Selva Urbanization, Avante Penthouse, Antiguo Cuscatlán. I don't know the place. Uh, it's on the street, it's Orden de Malta. It is in front of the Fiscalía General de la República. Okay. Okay. Ahora... That, but... Um, that is Boulevard, right? Boulevard. Boulevard oh, Orden de Malta. Yes. Malta. Sí, es Boulevard Orden de Malta. Sí, niñas. Sí. No. sí okay. es Boulevard Orden de Malta. Entonces, Boulevard es una palabra francesa. Esa se mantiene. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ahora pregúntame. Switch. Mm, ok. Uh, good evening, Verónica. Where do you work? I work in an audit firm. Um, where is it? It's in on Madre Selva Urbanization, Avante Penthouse Building, and Propulsa Plan. Mm, I don't know the place. It is in front of Fiscalía General de la República, next to Wendy's Restaurant, between Urbanization, Madre Selva, and Gas Station. Mm, okay, great. Thanks for the information. Very well done. Congratulations. Excellent. Because you were using prepositions of place, the location, and also there is and there are. That is the new topic. Yes. Very well. Congrats for the group. And now let's get back to the main session room to continue, okay? Thank you, guys. Okay. Very well done for all of you.
Thank you, class, for your participation in this activity. Okay, you did it very well. And now Filomena and Jose Pacheco are still practicing, I think, in group number one. Let's wait for them. Okay, the platform is going to bring them back. Actually, they are in their way. Okay, let's continue and here we go. <clears throat> We're going to work to continue working with our manual. So this is activity number six. You were uh, sharing the role play that you created. And now here, ask some classmates where their workplace is located. And this is what you were practicing yesterday and today, okay? So now listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. We have uh, the characters are Will and Tanya. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Main Street. I know it. I know it. Lo conozco. Yo lo conozco. I know it. Main Street. Main Street. Calle Principal. I know it. It's down the street. On the left side, it's down the street on the left side. It's down es calle abajo, a la izquierda, al lado izquierdo. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there, interviews there. You may say interviews, but we're going to listen interviews, okay, there. Thank you again, bye-bye. Thank you again, bye-bye. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? ¿Cuál necesita? ¿Se recuerdan de las palabras which? Le está ofreciendo un límite de posibilidades cuatro edificios. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. That's a uh, thanks. I have to ask you something else. Something else. Algo más. Something else. Is there a training center? Pregunta. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Acá tienen la preposición. Miren, between Main and King Street. Sobre la calle principal y la calle King. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, Serafín, you're going to read Will and uh, Marlene. Hello, Marlene. Are you here with me? Yes, teacher. Okay, Marlene, you're going to read Tanya. Begin. Okay. Serafín, you yeah. start. Serafín? Yes, you are Will. Yes, okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like her. Don't, wo go don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one, which one do you need? I get to me to do building on Main Street. I know it. It is down the street on the left side. Thank you. Thanks. I have to have you something else instead of training center. Uh, 
there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main mm. and King Street. I have some interviews, Chair. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Okay, thank you again, again. And here, you, where, again. where is the Melbourne building? I don't live, live, no live, live. I don't live. I don't live here. No vivo aquí, no soy de por acá en otras palabras. Okay, I don't live here. Now we're going to listen to um, Jonathan. Are you here, Jonathan? Yes. Here okay, I am. you're going to read Will and uh, Veronica. Are you here? Veronica? Hi, hi, solo okay. que está cantando tormenta. Okay, uh, uh, now you're going to read Tania. Okay, okay. let's begin. Okay. One, two, three. Jonathan. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Millboro building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Aguirre told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street of the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Uh, is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and Kinner Street. I have I have some interviews there. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Bye bye. Very well done, guys. So you are going to be reading, practicing what your partners practice here. But there is one more thing. Pero hay algo más. Después que practican, así como lo hicieron sus compañeros, you're going to switch roles. Okay. Van a intercambiar roles, porque acá no se dice el, el nombre, ¿verdad?, de la persona. Entonces, usted encuentra a alguien en la calle y le pregunta por un lugar, ¿sí? When you are done doing this, then you're going to move to exercise number three. You're going to read again the conversation, focusing on these specific questions, and you are going to provide the answers for these three questions at page 41. Is that clear? Or do you have any question? Preguntas sobre la actividad? You practice the conversation, switch roles, and later you answer the three questions. Is that okay? At page 41. Comprendimos las instrucciones? Sí? Yes. Okay, no problem. So let's move to the uh, practice. Right now, the invitation is for you guys here. Noé. Noé, ¿con quiénes estaba trabajando? Con Daniel. Ok. Con Dani y... Había alguien más. Pero... Con Dani y David, Emanuel. Ok. Sí. Ok, right now I'm going to move to group number three. Ya le envié la invitación, Noé. José Pacheco, en el equipo uno, José Pacheco, okay. Okay, you are four, so you are the perfect matching here. Acá están cuatro, y al otro compañero lo envía a un equipo donde solamente habían dos participantes, ¿de acuerdo? De acuerdo. So you take her here, okay? Bye. For building, uh, which one do you need? I hear told, told me to go to the building on uh, Main Street. I know it. Is there a training center? There are, there are a lot 
on training center on the building between main and king stream i have some interview there thank you at game bye bye okay Ahora. Ah, perdón, José Pacheco también va a participar con ustedes, ¿ok? okay. Aquí está. Uh, switch roles, ¿ya intercambiaron roles? No, no. Ok, so switch roles and later give us the chance to José Pacheco to practice with one of you, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, okay bye. Bye, bye Ok, ahora yo Bye, bye. Ok, bye, bye. Ok. Ahora, Ahora, ¿y usted sería Will? Ahora, yo Will. Uh -huh. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Live here. Live. Here, perdón. Live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I girl told me go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to have you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training. There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, ahora okay. las otras chicas por ahí. Ok. Barnes. Uy, nada más chiquito. Vaya, ahora sí. Mili, demo. Ok. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne uh, building? I don't like here. Don't worry. They are for building. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There, there are a lot of training center on the building between May and King Street. It's good. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. There is one thing. Remember, girls and boys. I don't live. Si usted dice live es otra cosa. Live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Live yeah. es vivir. I don't live here. No vivo aquí. No vivo por aquí. Okay. 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 I don't live here. Ustedes están. <laughs> Asociándolo con los en vivos, con los lives, pero no es don't live, es de como verbo, ok? I don't live here. Continue practicing. Remember, okay. practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne? Be Melbourne Building. Melbourne Building. Melbourne Building. Melbourne Building. Yes, Melbourne Building. Melbourne Building. Ok, no. acá te lo comparto. I don't live, I don't live here. Ah, no, no, I don't live, no, I don't live. Live es el verbo live. vivir. No lo confundan con los live de las redes sociales, ¿verdad? Live. Porque este es verbo, no es sustantivo. Los lives que ustedes miran es sustantivo, pero este es verbo. Okay. Live. Live. I don't live here. Ok, continue. Don't worry. Okay. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I don't. I. I don't. Told me to go to the building on May Street. 
I know is I don't use string on the left side. Sid. Thanks. I have to ask you sometime else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building. Best green, big green, may a king dream. I have some, I have some interviews there. Say you again. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, Wait. listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? You don't pronounce the U. Building. No pronuncia la U. Building. I don't live here. Don't worry. There are. They are. No. There. There are. There. Esta TH como que fuera de. There are four buildings. Olvídense de la U, en la pronunciación no existe la U. Buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. I know it. It's down the street, down the street, on the left side, al lado izquierdo, on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Sometime, no? Something. Porque sometime es eh, alguna vez. Something else. Algo más. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Es pregunta. Is there a training center? There are a lot of Okay, there are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main, Main and King Street. Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. I have some interviews there. Tengo algunas entrevistas allá. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, now okay. continue practicing and answer the questions, okay? Okay. Bárbara y Filomena, practiquen, ustedes faltan. Ah, se salió. William. Ah, salió William. William se salió. William, ah, no, acá me está pidiendo que okay, qué equipo estamos, espérense, en el uno. Y desde hace rato me estaba pidiendo acceso, pero como les estaba compartiendo la pantalla, no podía. Ok. Ahí vamos a ver, ya va a regresar porque me pidió acceso. No sé si le, le fue la conexión de nuevo. Bueno, continúen practicando o traten de darle respuesta a las preguntas. Mientras regresa William, porque sí, hace ratito que estaba yes. pidiendo acceso. Ok. Continue okay. with the practice and answer the questions. Ok, bye. Hello, class. Did you finish the practice? I finished. And did you answer the questions? Sí. Yes? Sí. So, in other words, you are ready. ¿Y quién, quién se les escapó de este equipo? Um, Ivania. Ivania. Ah, Ivania, Ivania. Tiene que estar acá con usted. Pero es que es como que... Contestaba por el chat porque decía que estaba en el, en el, en el working. Trabajo. Okay. So give me one minute and then get ready with the answers for the questions, okay? Because uh, we're going to be asking and answering in the main session room. Okay. Okay. See you. Practicadito ahí para para mí porque perdón porque estoy en la en las dos en la clase de la universidad y en la clase de inglés así que Ah, bueno. ¿Quieres? Practicamos. En... Hello, okay. can you help me? Hay que hacerlo. Pero hay tiempo todavía para hacer esa evaluación, creo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah. Hello. 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 ¿Quiénes más están? 
Where is the Marlboro building? I don't like here. Live here. Live here. Don't worry. There Live are here. four buildings. Which one do you need? I girl told me to go to the building on my street. I know it. It is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something, Elsie. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Uh, thank you again. Bye bye. Ahora yo soy Tani. Ted Will. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? What? What is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street of the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. It is the training center. There are a lot of training centers of the building between Main and Kiana Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye, Emily. Okay, uh, Serafine, hello. Yeah. Can you help me? Where is the Millport building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four, four buildings. Which one do you need? I girl, a girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, it is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and in the street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. Ahora. No, the hello, did you answer the questions? Okay. ¿Ya contestaron las preguntas? Mm, solo hemos practicado la conversación. Okay, answer the three questions that are below this conversation. Contesten ahora las tres preguntas que están debajo de esta, de esta conversación. Okay. Es en relación a, o sea, es decir, las respuestas están en esta conversación, ¿ok? Sí. Ok. Yes. okay. La, okay. la pueden compartir ahí, no sé, porque yo no las tengo. Bueno, la en el en manual, el manual pero... están. En el manual están. No okay. puedo acceder porque estoy desde el teléfono. Esta es una captura de pantalla la que tengo ahorita. Ah, vaya, vaya. Ahí no sé si. Ana Verónica tal vez la puede compartir. Están en mi suite. ¿Dónde eh... quiere ir? Parece. Ajá. ¿Cuál sería? Eh, there, there, there are a lot of training. Sería training center. Ajá, digo yo, ¿dónde está? Entonces, están? ¿cómo sería la respuesta? Lo que le decíamos que poner, where is the building? Y where will wants to locate it? Primero, o sea, son dos preguntas en una prácticamente. Porque nos está preguntando dónde está el, uh, el building. Okay. Y dice, eh, I know, eh, tendríamos que poner, eh, it is down the street on the left side. Okay. Y el otro sería, where will wants to go located. Entonces, él le dice que eh, eh, they need to, to go a training center. Es la, la, el, el building. No, pero ya dijo usted dónde está, where is the building where Will wants to go located. Dónde está ubicado el edificio a donde Will ah, quiere okay, ir. Ah, ok, Ajá. ok. Ok. Me parece que eran dos preguntas de una sola. Is this down, down the street on the left side? Ajá. Y la tercera, how many training centers are, where are they? How many centers? Uh, they are a lot of centers. 
No, 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 no son cuatro. Porque en la pr primera es building art, there are four ah, buildings. Ah, no, there are ah. four Melbourne buildings, okay? But the question is, how many training centers are there? ¿Cuántos? Ajá, y dice que hay Ajá, a there lot are of many. training Ajá, centers. There are... there are a lot of uh, training centers. Y la otra dice, where are they? Están, eh, there are in, in, there are on the building between Main and King Street, se, street sería. Ya, yeah. they yeah. are, porque como le pregunta, where are they, they donde are, están, uh -huh. ese they se refiere a los centros de entrenamiento, ¿verdad? Where mm -hmm. are they? They, they are, are on, yes, that's correct. The building, building. Between, between Main and King Street. Okay, esas serían las respuestas. Take a screenshot of the answers, guys, or you ask an answer. I'm going to give you some seconds, okay, so you can get the, the answers. Para que tenga cada uno las, las respuestas, porque ya las vamos a trabajar en el main session room, okay, en el salón principal. Okay. Do you have the answers to the three questions, guys? Tienen las respuestas para las preguntas. Hola. 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 Tienen las respuestas para las preguntas. Sí, ya contestaron las preguntas. En eso estamos, Ticho. No, yo no. Bueno, entonces contesten porque ya en unos dos minutos vamos a regresar porque ya casi todos están listos con la respuesta. ¿Ok? Ok. Entonces ahí sería punto. Terminate R. Ahorita. Ahí sería Between and May and King Street. Ahí me hace dudar de la dos también. <ríe> Sería okay, es que yo creo que la, 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 la segunda es la respuesta de la tercera. O sea, así como vamos. There are a lot of, of training centers on the building between. El edificio está entre la calle principal y la calle King. Training center, Millie, on the building. On the building. Mm -hmm. Between, 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 um, main, 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 uh -huh, main, así, street, King Berta, ajá, en King Street, ajá, correct. Con la segunda me queda la duda, ¿dónde está el edificio donde yo quiero ir? Teacher, tenemos bien ahí las dos. Tenemos duda. No estaba esperando sí. que terminara. Ok. <clears throat> There are four buildings. Where is the building where Will wants to go located? It is between Main Street and King Street. Ok. Le falta iris. Sí, porque es el edificio. Eh, sería respuesta completa, pero si usted dice between es respuesta corta, entre tal tal, ok. Mm -hmm. It is between Main Street and King Street. Main Street va con mayúscula, Main, porque es el nombre de nombre la calle, propio. es el nombre propio de la calle, correcto. Y King, Street, King Street también. Sí, pero King se la tiene con mayúscula en esa respuesta. Mm -hmm. King Street. How many training centers are there? There are a lot of training centers. Where ahí sería they, 
Ahí sería... Como son dos preguntas, entonces, there are ah, a lot of training centers. Sería punto, ¿verdad? Y se respondería la otra Ya, ya, period, there are a lot of training centers, period. Period es punto, punto seguido. There are a lot of training centers, period. No, el punto va acá. There In are center. a lot of training centers. ¿Acá? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sí, ahí. Ay, Building, aquí le falta. Ajá. Ok, there are a lot of on the build. Ok, where are they? They are, porque como acá le está preguntando, ¿verdad? Primero le pregunta que cuántos training centers hay. Hay mucho, le dice, ¿dónde están ellos? Esos ellos re, se refiere a los training centers. They are. En vez de on. Sería they are. Antes de on. Escriba, they are. On. Uh -huh. Y acá sería on the buildings, porque en todos los edificios hay, hay centros de, de. Ok. Training centers. They are the on the buildings. Uh -huh. On the buildings es como un centro de, de. Se centralizan ahí en todos esos edificios. Uh, they are on the buildings between main with capital letter, main capital letter. Okay. And King Street. Okay. Very well. Excellent. Okay. Now that's okay. Great. Okay. Very well. Now ready? Yes. Okay, excellent. So we're going to move to the main session room. Take a screenshot of these answers so you, all of you can have it because we're going to be asking and answering one another, okay, in the main session room right now. Okay. So I'm, I'm going Thank to you, close teacher. The, okay. Let's get back. Let's wait for Barbara and Filomena a couple of seconds. Because you're going to work. Okay, here we go. They are on their way back. Okay, in team number one, I need one participant. Barbara, Filomena, Guillermo, and William. One of you is going to ask question number one to any other partner, okay? ¿Quién va a leer la pregunta? Okay, Barbara, Filomena, Guillermo, or William. Question number one, and say the name of the partner who is going to answer. Y mencionan el nombre del compañero que va a contestar. Hello? Okay, Guillermo? Or I don't know if Barbara, who's going to read the question number one? La voy a, eh, yo, la, yo la voy a leer, teacher. Okay, read it and say the partner who is going to answer. Y dice quién le va a contestar, okay? How many may, may building, buildings. buildings are there para Carlos Miguel? Okay, the question goes to Carlos Miguel. Uh, there are uh, four buildings. Okay, thank you so much. Great, excellent. Now, let's see. In team number two, I have Carlos Miguel, Clelia, Jonathan, and Jose Mejia. Who's going to read the question number two? And say the partner who is going to answer. 
Okay, Jonathan, Clelia, Miguel, your group. Hi. Okay. okay, read question yeah. number two. Um, where is the building where we all wants to go located? Um, um, Daniel Alberto. Danny? Danny? No, hello. Okay, answer question number two, please. It's on the street on the left city. Excuse me? Repeat the answer. It's down the extreme. It's down the street. It's down the street on the left side. On the left side, on the left side. Very specific answer, okay? It's okay. down the street on the left side. Es okay. al final de la calle, hacia abajo de la calle, al lado izquierdo. That is a good answer. And now, let's see. Group number three, Danny, David Emanuel, Jose Pacheco, or Noé, who is going to ask the question? Who is going to read the question? Danny, David Emanuel, Jose Pacheco, or Noé? Okay, Danny, ask the question. Your choices are, la pregunta puede ser para Ana Marlene, Ana Verónica, Milagro Madeline, or Serafín. Eh, para Ana Marlene. Okay, Marlene. Yes, I'm here. Okay, what main train center are give? Where are, where are they? There are a lot of training centers. They are on the buildings between Main and King Street. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, let's see. Guillermo? Hello, Guillermo. Hello. Okay, you're going to begin the conversation. You read Will and Jose Pacheco, are you available? Mr. Pacheco? Yes. Okay, uh -huh. you continue the conversation. Guillermo, okay. you begin. One, two, three. Guillermo? Hello, can you hit me? Where, where is a neighbor building? I don't live. Uh, here. here, here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I gear to me to go me to go to building building on main street. I know it. Is down the street on the left side. Thank. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interbank there. Thank you again, bye bye. Thank you. Okay. I have some interviews there. Thank you again, bye bye. Very well done, congrats. And now we move to this. Here, it is exactly at page 42, okay, here. There is, for singular, there are four plural, okay? This is what I explained to you at the beginning of the class, as a preview. There is an ATM across the street. There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There's no clothing factory around the corner. Look at this. There is an ATM. You know what ATM is, right? Because we use it. Yes or no? An ATM, automatic teller machine. Yes, el cajero automático. Automatic teller machine. And we use an because the next word begins with a vowel sound. There is an ATM across the street. There's is the short form, the contraction for there is. There's a recruiting center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There's no clothing factory around the court. There's no is there is no. 
Okay, there is no clothing factory. This is a noun. That's why we can say there is no clothing factory. You may say there isn't, there is not, should be, but you can say there is no clothing factory. No hay uh, fabrica de, fabrica de ropa. Correcto, porque es un sustantivo, podemos decir there is no, okay? Factory around the corner. And now, plural. There are, there are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets, algunos, a lot of, muchos. There are some, algunos, supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. A la derecha y a la izquierda de la calle, ¿de acuerdo? There are no hospitals on Barrios Street. No hay hospitales sobre la calle Barrios. There are no hospitals. Fíjense, hospitals es un sustantivo, ¿verdad? O un nombre para la infraestructura. Por eso decimos there are no, es decir, que se puede usar. There is no, there are no hospitals, clothing factory. Podría ser there are no clothing factories on Barrios Street. Y acá podríamos decir, there is or there's no hospital in singular around the corner. Yes. Entonces se puede usar, utilizar esta estructura en singular y en plural. Questions or comments about this information, guys? Preguntas sobre esta información? Okay, so everything is clear. Now you are going to complete the exercises with there is or there are and a quantifier. Let's see the first one. Number one. Ustedes van a trabajar completando con there is or there are de acuerdo al contexto de la oración y el quantifier que se les brinda entre paréntesis. Here, marketing presentation across the street in the morning. So what are you going to write in there? There is or there are? Marketing presentation. There is, teacher. There is. Okay, perfect. But if we say there is marketing presentation, ¿cuál será el cuantificador que tenemos que agregar y que no nos están dando? Marketing presentation. A, an, a lot of, some or no? Uh, uh. Okay, there is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Hay una porque marketing presentation, okay? No es marketing presentations, por eso sí. intuimos que es una, ¿verdad? Y como la palabra siguiente inicia con consonant, no podemos decir an, okay? Now you continue with number two, three, four, five, and here should be a number six. Not number one. Acá debe ser número seis, no número uno. Okay, let's do it later. We're going to double check because afterwards you're going to continue working in the breakout rooms. Okay, so let's try to practice this and use your knowledge about the topic. When you finish, you let me know, please. Okay. Recuerden si eh, identificar entre paréntesis si le dan el cuantificador o no, ¿de acuerdo? We are at page 41.
Good. Okay, class, here, let's analyze number two. Business workshops down the street, okay? Business workshop, some. Are we going to use there is or there are? There are. Okay, because it is plural, yeah. Then we say there are, and which is the quantifier? ¿Cuál es el cuantificador que nos proporciona? Some. Okay, some, there are some business workshops quantifiers down the street. Hay algunos, okay, workshops. Talleres para negocios, pero es como training, okay, workshops. There are some business workshops down the street. Now, number three, recruitment centers. Around my building, no. The expression should be, there is or there are. Hello? There, there, there is. is. Recruitment centers. There are. There, there are. There are. Centers. There. There are no recruitment centers. No podemos decir there's porque como es plural, entonces si se fijan acá, solo el singular va contractado, pero no podemos decir there are no. Lo escribimos completo, tal cual como está acá, ¿sí? There are no, cuando es plural, there are no recruitment centers around my building. And let's analyze number four. Store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue, no. There is not a store on the corner of the Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Oh, great. So we can say there's, in this case, you can use the abbreviation, the contraction, there's no or there is no, yes, because it is singular. There's no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue, yeah? Okay, what about number five? Banks behind the factory I work. Singular there, or plural? There are. There are, okay. There are. There are banks behind the factory where I work. But if we had to use a quantifier, which one should be? There are some, hay algunos, porque es banks, or a lot of banks, yes? Pero en este caso no nos están dando quantificador. There are banks behind the factory where I work. Okay. And a quantifier nos dice acá, ¿verdad? Entonces podría ser. No nos lo dan, pero podríamos utilizar nosotros. There are some or there are a lot of. Sí, podría ser algunos, some, muchos, a lot of. Si es un centro bancario, sí, financiero. And what about the last one? Aranza building around the corner. There is or there are. There is. There is. Okay. There is a or an Aranza um, building. An. There is an Aranza building around the corner. 
very well. Uh -huh. Acá sí tenemos que incluir el quantifier, aunque no nos lo dan por eh, la siguiente palabra, ¿verdad? Que inicia with a vowel sound. There is an Aranza building around the corner. Okay, so when you finish checking your answers, comparing and making any change or modification, if it is necessary, you tell me because we move to the next activity, which is a practice activity also, okay? And now class, it is the time for you to construct your knowledge, okay? Create a conversation with a partner describing the places that are around the building using the grammar that we have been studying. And you are going to present your role play to the rest of the class based on the real place where you work. Acá la información de su lugar de trabajo real. Tell me, where do you work? I work in Grupo Lorena. Where is it? It is blah, 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 porque ya lo tiene. And you, where do you work? Well, I work in, y luego se, lo mismo, where is it? It is, y ahí le menciona, hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, parecido a la conversación que hicimos al inicio, pero tomando en cuenta esto. Acá, well, bien, porque le pregunta, it is blah, blah, blah. And you, where do you work? Well, I work, acá tendrían ustedes que contestar. Lo mismo que está ahí arriba. Well, I work in, ¿verdad? Ok, y lo completan ahí. Y acá, uh, where is it? Pregunta la otra persona, ¿sí? Uh, it should be letter B, right? Where is it? ¿Dónde queda eso? ¿Dónde está eso ubicado? Where is it? Where is it? Y luego, ¿qué contestaría? A. Hey. Okay. It is. It is. Y ahí completa su respuesta. ¿Sí? ¿De acuerdo? Similar. ¿Ok? So, I think you have no problem with this, right? Yeah. Okay, but before you go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to take the second attendance, okay? Here we go. Activate your cameras if you are so nice, please, because it is a requisite. Marlene, Ana Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Ana Veronica. Present. Great. Barbara. Present. Thank you, Miss. Carlos Miguel. Present. Clelia. Present. Dani. Daniel. Dani, where are you? Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Sí. Dani, los de conectivity, perdió la conexión. Quizás comenzó a llover, sí, claro, ok. Eh, Filomena Luz. Present. Thank you. Francisco Enrique Absent. Guillermo. Present. Ivania Elizabeth. Ivania. Absent. Jonathan. Uh, here I am. Thank you. <laughs> Jose Armando Pacheco. I'm here. Okay, thank you, Mr. Pacheco. Karina Vanessa. Vanessa. Absent. Miss Milagro Mabelin. Present. Here. Noe, where are you? Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Serafín. Are you here, Serafín? 
I hear. Okay, just in time. William Francisco, yeah, yeah. hello. William. Yes, okay, yes, great. So right now, class, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you can Teacher. practice. Yes? Teacher, here I am. Sí, lo nombré. No. Sí, no lo nombré. No. Y yo aquí levantando la mano, present, present. Yo también, Tisha. Yo levantando la yo mano. También. ¿A quién? ¿A quién? José A Mejía. José Mejía, sí. Sí, José Manuel Mejía. Sí. Ah, uh -huh. Sí. A José Armando Pacheco, José Manuel Mejía, que se unió un poquito tarde, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Sí, el quien perdió la conexión fue Dani. Sí. Okay, so here we go. Once again, I'm going to recall you, okay? Here, guys, you're going to work on this conversation, okay? But it is simple, switch roles because um, you have this information already. Ya tienen esa información, de acuerdo? Okay, here we go. I'm opening the breakout rooms right now. Okay. Verónica la voy a la voy a ingresar al, al equipo nuevamente, ¿ok? Porque me aparece acá. Ajá. Sí, perdió la conexión. Your group is number four. Sí. Ok. Ya le envié la invitación, pero. Sí, ya me cayó, gracias. Ok, thank you. William Francisco, I need you in your group. Carlos Miguel, please go to your group. Okay. William and Carlos, I need you in your groups. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, hello. okay. here you are. Uh, Noé, David Emanuel, and Jose Pacheco. But I don't see him, yeah. but somewhere he is. In algún lugar está. Okay, comienza David Emanuel y Noé. Okay, no I I am I A. U B. U B. Okay. okay, y luego intercambian roles, okay? Bye. Okay, teacher. Esperen Can a me... José Pacheco ya va a regresar. Mac. Espero no sé en inglés cómo se pronunciaría. What means? Repeat. Eh, Mac, un Ministerio de Agricultura y Ganadería. Eh, Hola. Mac, because that is the way we say it. M-A-G. Yeah. Ah, ok. Yeah. M-A-G. Ah, okay. yeah. What is? It, it is in La Palma, Chalatenango. Where? Where are you worrying? Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm worrying Grupo Lorena. Sorry? Uh, I'm worrying Grupo Lorena. Okay, where is it? Uh, it, it is uh, three West Street City Garden, San Miguel. Ahí. Te falta la palabrita final. Ahí. Ah, perdón. <ríe> Permitirme aquí. Aquí lo voy a, aquí lo voy a completar. Es Iris. Kilometer 8. Teacher. Coco. Para poner And ingenio, you? ingenio la Magdalena. Esa palabra ingenio. Ingenio, como así fábrica. es. Así sí, pero como, como nombre. este es el nombre, sí, ingenio la Magdalena. Ah, yo, yo había entendido que el nombre sería la Magdalena. Ingenio sería como fábrica o... o 
pero es que como es una naturaleza diferente a, a, a fábrica. Ah, Porque, ¿qué es lo que se producen queda ahí? ¿Qué es lo que producen ahí? azúcar. Hacemos Ah, vaya. azúcar. Ajá, ajá. Entonces, completo el nombre, sí, como se dice, ingenio de la Magdalena, Sí, el nombre porque propio. así se, le, así se le conoce como hay otro ingenio, el ángel, creo. Sí, es correcto, somos Ajá, del mismo grupo. ingenio, el ángel. Oh, ok. Sí, Sí, porque Factory es, es una fábrica diferente, pero esto es producción distinta. Uh sí. Ok, -huh. sí, sí. Next, next, este, no es. Ok. Entonces, aquí, aquí David era lo último, yo solo dije, it is kilómetro eight. El coco road and you, where do you work? Well, I work in a bank integral or integral bank. Delano, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Okay, near thanks. the National Stadium, Jorge Manco González. Okay, thank you. Tell me. Tell me where do you work? I work in Grupo Lorena. Where is it? It's on the Harding neighborhood at San Miguel's department. Hola, Tiga. Next, Hey, if you uh, want. What is. Um, ¿Por dónde vamos? <laughs> Perdí and you, yo. where do you work? Ah, and. and And you, where do you work? It's on Madre Selva Urbanization, Avance, Antiguo Cuscatlán. It is in front of Fiscalía, next to Wendy Restaurant, between Urbanization, Madre Selva, and Gas Station. Ya me perdí. <laughs> Ahora ya ves que mire la fluencia, ya cuando practican y practican ya tiene fluidez, ¿verdad? Oh, wow. Amazing, Miss. Congratulations. Vale, ahora al revés. Ok. Tell me, where do you work? I am going out an audit firm. I Where work is it? in, I work in, I am I work, work, no, I work in. I work in an audit firm, Deloitte. Where Deloitte. is it? Where is it? It, it is on Madre Selva Urbanization, Avante. Building Antiguo Cuscatlán. And you, where do you work? Guillermo. Guillermo. Sí, ok. Okay. Pues yo le pregunto, tell me, where do you work? I work in Salazar Romero. Where is it? It is mm, it is ¿Dónde? ah, San, eh, San Salvador. Ajá. I do you where is the world? Well, I work in M A G. What is It is it is La Palma Chalatenango. Okay. Y Filomena ya, ya intercambiaron, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, Filomena ya intercambiamos. con William. Yes. Okay, very well, great. Now we're going to go to the main station room and you are going to practice with someone else, okay? Van a practicar con alguien más de el grupo, no de este equipo, sino del grupo de clase. Okay, is that correct? Because remember, practice makes perfect. Okay, very well. Here we go. Congratulations, class. Okay, let's wait for the others. I think now that you had the, the information, it was easier the practice, right?
ya que tenían la información, fue más fácil la práctica, ¿ya? Okay, very well. Let's wait for the others. Oh. We're still practicing, and they are Carlos Anclelia and Jose Mejia. David Emanuel, Jose Pacheco, and Noah. Two groups, but they are in their way back. Okay, class, are all of you here? Yes. <clears throat> now it is the time to listen to you. Let's see. Uh, Miss Veronica, choose one partner from the class. Forget about your partners in the group. Olvídese de los compañeros en el equipo. Choose another partner and ask Mr. Mejia. Mr. Mejia, the questions are for you. Okay. Tell me where do you work? Uh, I work in Grupo Lorena. What is it? Uh, it is a three west street, a city garden, San Miguel. And you, where do you work? It is on Madre Selva Urbanization, above the 10th house building, until Cuscatla. It is in front of this Calia, next to Wendy's restaurant, between Urbanization Mare Selva and that's the station. Okay. Thank you, you say. Thank you for the information. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, great. Now let's see. Mm. Ana Marlene? Yes, teacher. Okay, you choose your partner to practice. Okay. Say the name of the partner who is going to practice with you okay. from the class. Wait. Clelia. Miss Clelia. Hello, Clelia. Hello. Okay. Begin, Miss Marley. Okay. Wait. I tengo las preguntas en WhatsApp. Me escucha. Yes, ¿Sí? perfectly. Okay. Okay. Hey, tell me, where do you work? I work in Varsity Pro. Where is it? Please, Ana Franca. American Park on Canada Street, Block H in Arces, Arces City. And you, where do you work? I work in Grupo Lorena. Where is it? It's on Ciudad Harding neighborhood. Well, okay. Thank you so much. Now, I need you to pay close attention to what I'm going to tell you, class. Okay, because today we practiced, okay, we practiced the structure. There is for singular and there are four um, plural, yes? But if you notice in the structure, in the manual, there was a question and also in the practice. So we say, for example, there is a school next to my workplace. Yes? That is? In singular, affirmative. 
but we can say there are some restaurants uh, behind my workplace, yeah, in plural. But what about interrogative sentences? If I say, is there a school near your workplace? Then you say, yes, there is a school near my workplace. Intercambiamos el orden de las palabras. Ya no decimos there is, decimos is there. Is there a school near your workplace? And then we answer, yes, there is a school near my workplace. Or in short answer, yes, there is, yeah? In negative, no, there isn't any school near my workplace, yeah? In short answer, negative, no, there isn't, yeah? And what about for plural? Es lo mismo, solo intercambiamos el orden. Entonces, para formular la pregunta, to structure the question, for plural, are there. For example, are there any restaurants behind uh, your workplace? And question mark. Yeah, so the affirmative answer. Yes, yes. There, there are. In short answer, okay. In full answer, yes, there are some There's restaurants some. behind okay. my workplace, okay. What about negative? No, no. There, are. there aren't any, no, there aren't any. Para la respuesta negativa usamos any, some solo para respuesta afirmativa, ok? Y full answer negative, no, there aren't any restaurants behind my workplace. Yes, and that's it, okay? We're going to continue practicing with this uh, structure tomorrow, but today I need Jose Mejia to stay with me. Okay, I need to talk seriously to you, Jose Mejia. Necesitamos hablar seriamente, Jose Mejia, okay? Okay, Ahora, okay? 10 minutos después de la clase. Entonces, chicos, escuchen. Ahora necesito que recuerden, there is, there are, they have the same meaning. Tienen el mismo significado, pero there is for singular, there are for plural. Para estructurar las preguntas, any. Para responder en negativo, any. Para responder afirmativo, some. En, en respuesta completa, respuesta larga, ¿sí? Entonces decimos, no, there isn't, singular. No, there aren't any, or no, there aren't, para plural, ¿sí? Yes, there is, yes, there are. Así de simple, la estructura no está muy complicada, solo está en seguir el orden correcto de las palabras, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, so class, uh, may I stop sharing? ¿Puedo dejar de compartir? Yes. Yes. Ok, great. Thank you so very much. Have a good night and see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we see have a tomorrow. class. Congratulations okay, on teacher. your participation. Very well done, class. Okay, Jose Mejia, please stay with me. Bye. Bye, teacher. Good night. Sweet tomorrow. dreams.
Bye. Thank you, Be teacher. Well. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Okay. Okay, Jose Mejia. Veamos. Uh, ¿Hay algo en lo que le puedo ayudar lo que hemos estado trabajando esta semana? Eh, sí que realmente eh, he tenido problemas por, por el trabajo, ¿verdad? Casi uh -huh. me he a las nueve, pero siento que le he agarrado, ¿verdad? Y lo que trato es eh, en la mañana verles ahora que, que me he perdido y trato uh -huh. de, de responder, la verdad. Hoy con lo de Terry en singular y Terry creo que me quedó bastante... Claro. Lo asimiló bastante. Uh -huh. Lo asimilé bastante bien. Sí, y con las preposiciones de lugar. Eh, ahí tal vez sí tengo alguna duda, sí. Vaya, veamos. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo le puedo ayudar? Con las preposiciones de lugar que estuvimos viendo ayer y lo que vimos ahora. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Las preposiciones de lugar, las simples que vimos ayer fueron in o at, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, su significado es en, pero... El contexto es el que cambia en inglés, porque en español decimos en la gaveta, en la Ajá. casa, en el techo. Pero para decir en el techo es on the roof, porque es sobre el techo, ¿sí? At, on es como, como sobre un objeto, digamos. Así es, sobre una superficie. Así como eh, les he compartido acá, mire. At lo Ajá. utilizamos para un punto específico, at the front desk. En... Eh, la recepción, at the entrance, en la entrada, at the crossroads, okay? en la intersección, uh -huh. at the corner, at the bus stop, en la parada de buses, uh -huh. at the top of the page, okay? en la parte superior de la página, at the end of the road, al final del camino, at the door. Fíjese que acá tenemos at the door, como que dijera, see you at the door, nos vemos en la puerta o te veo en la puerta, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Pero no es dentro de la puerta porque acá tenemos con on, on the ceiling, on the wall, on the cover, on the door. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué tenemos on the door? Porque si yo le digo, where is the, for example, where is the sign for the toilets? ¿Dónde está la, 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 la señal para los paños? On the door, pero quiere oh, decir no. sobre la superficie de la puerta, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ahí cambia el contexto, por eso tenemos dos veces, acá tenemos on the door y at the door. Porque oh, si yo at the door te veo en la puerta, en ese punto específico, en la puerta. Pero acá on the door quiere decir sobre la puerta, pero no quiere decir encima de, sino uh -huh. sobre la superficie. Como que digamos on the wall. On the wall. Where is the clock? Ah, oh, it is on the wall. In ¿Dónde the wall, está no, el reloj? Porque uh -huh. clock es el reloj de pared. Es sobre la superficie de la pared. If I ask you, where is the whiteboard? ¿Dónde está el pizarrón? On the wall. On the wall, correctísimo. Where is the calendar? On the wall. On the wall, very well. Uh -huh. Y tenemos otros ejemplos. On the cover, the door, on the carpet, sobre... La uh -huh. alfombra, on the menu, on a page, en una página, pero se supone que sobre esa página que está. Uh -huh. On the floor, en el piso. Y utilizamos in para los lugares eh, enclosed. Es decir, como que digamos in the garden, en esa área nada más. Enclosed uh -huh. es como en lugares no cerrados necesariamente, porque el jardín no es un lugar cerrado, pero sí en este perímetro, ¿verdad? En uh -huh. San Salvador, en la ciudad de San Salvador, ¿sí? En Puerto uh -huh. Rico, para los países, in a box, dentro de una caja, in a bag, where do you keep your money? In a bag, in my wallet, en, uh -huh. en mi Mira bolso, ajá, en my wallet. In a house, where do you live? In a house, me decían ayer, ¿verdad? No, tienen que decirme la dirección, les decía yo. In a car, okay? Where is your cell phone? It is in a car. I forgot it in a car. Lo olvidé en el auto, ¿sí? Entonces, les compartí ayer esta información para que les quede más claro, ¿verdad? Como preposiciones de lugar, porque recuerde que ya las vimos también, at, in, on, como prepositions of time. Pero en uh -huh. este caso son las más simples, más comunes, preposiciones de lugar. Entonces, por eso practicaban ayer. 
Esta era la pregunta que les hacíamos. Where do you live? I live in a house. Me decía. No, I live in San Salvador. I live uh -huh. in San Miguel. Y así. Do you live in a house or in an apartment? Vives en una casa, pero se supone dentro de una casa o de un departamento. departamento. I live in a house or in an apartment. Uh -huh. Stay at home or at work, porque es un lugar específico. At home, no podemos decir nunca in home or on home, porque at home ya es una frase dada, no se puede uh -huh. modificar. Okay? At work, también en el trabajo, es con referencia a un lugar específico. Um, in here, where are the prices of the food in a restaurant? They are in the menu. Where uh -huh. do you give your money? I keep my money. Somebody told me in a bank, in a bank. In a bank. Okay, or in mm -hmm. my in my house, in my purse, okay, in cartera, in my pocket, in my bolsillo, yeah, mm -hmm. or in my wallet. Where do you hang a clock? Donde cuelgas un reloj? Where do you hang a clock? A wall. On a wall. On, on a, wall. a wall. On a wall. On a wall. A wall. A wall. Very well. Mm -hmm. Y acá las que vimos ahora para extender el contenido, ¿verdad? Behind. Detrás de. Between uh -huh. and among. Las dos significan lo mismo. Entre. But you say between two. Les decía al inicio. Te mostraba este ejemplo. Um, my red pen is between. Uy, my red pen is between the pink marker and the green marker. Entre dos. Uh -huh. Pero among. Ya yes, es para eh, más de dos, de tres en adelante, ¿verdad? A monkey significa lo mismo. In front of, I think there is no problem. Opposite of, there is no problem. Next to, no problem. Estas son bien okay. básicas, ¿verdad? Las que, las que uh -huh. estábamos viendo. Y en el manual, in your manual, here we have, okay, we were practicing here yesterday. On, para las calles y avenidas utilizamos on, on 4th uh -huh. Avenue, on the corner, on the street. In, for enclosed places, example, in a country, in El Salvador, or in a city, in San Salvador, in the park, in a stadium, in the neighborhood, at the meeting room, lugares específicos, at work, at the bank, okay? Y okay. completamos esto que estaba acá, ¿sí? Y el sí. mapa que trabajaron, ¿verdad? Con las locations que también practicamos ahora. Y pues hicimos el repaso esta semana también de, de esta unidad, ¿verdad? Entonces hemos visto hasta acá. Y la, el mapa y las conversaciones que estuvieron creando. Ok, now I want you to read this conversation for me, please. Léame esta conversación. Ok. Uh, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like her. Uh, don't worry. There are four uh, uh, building, verdad? Buildings. 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 You don't pronounce you. You say buildings. Buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Uh, a girl told me to go to the building, building, uh, building on mm -hmm. Main Street. I know it is down the street of the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you sometime, Elsie. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers of the building. Between May and King Street, I have some interview. Third, thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, something else, something else over here. Something else. Okay, y over something, here. Y something que significa, teacher? Algo, ah, okay, something else, algo más. Algo something, más. Okay. Algo más. La vez pasada estábamos hablando de someone else, alguien más. Sí. Uh -huh. Y esta es something else. Building. I don't live. Live. I don't live. Live uh -huh. here. Okay. Now I'm going to read and later we're going to practice. Okay. I read and you listen. 
Yo leo, usted escucha y luego lo hacemos entre los dos. Hello, sí. can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, I know it. Together, juntos, I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something, something else. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again, bye. Now you are Will and I am Tanya, okay? You begin. Okay, comienzo. <clears throat> yes, you are Will. Uh, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like, I don't live. live. I don't live her. Don't, uh, don't worry. worry. No, uh, yo, so, yo leo Tania. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask, ask you something else. Are there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview term. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, now we switch. I read Will and you read Tanya. Hello, okay. can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four uh, buildings. Which oh, one do you need? Which one do you need? Repeat, which one do you need? Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. Uh, it's down the street of the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center of the building uh, with you may on King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye. Okay, very well. Okay, sir. If there are no more questions, I have to tell you thank you for your time. Okay, no, gracias no. por su tiempo. Okay, have no, a good no, night. No. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Okay. Happy dreams. Bye-bye. Thank you.